contact the third floor nurse's desk. Dr. Ansadel, please contact the third floor nurse's desk. Hi, Dr. Corby. The tables have turned, doesn't it? I think it's time we have a long overdue chat. No, no, let's stop, stop it. Stop it. No screens. Don't even try it. Olivia, I've got you exactly where I want you. And I can finish you, so you just hold still. What did you bring? Rats, spiders, snakes, what? Oh, no, no, no. That's your disgusting style. I just want something from you. You hear me? One simple thing. You do not tell the police anything about the diamonds. Do you hear me? Anything. If I did that, I'd be an idiot. It would make me a prime suspect in my father's Just murder. answer me! Yes or no. Just out of curiosity, what was your involvement with the diamonds? You know what? You may just die trying to find out. You may die of curiosity. Do you hear me? Now listen. Do I have your promise? Do I have your promise? Because if I don't, I am going to make your life... A living hell, do you hear me? Hell! I don't want any more problems, Lucy, but this has to work both ways. God, I'm glad you see it my way now. What the hell is that supposed to mean? If you're willing to keep your mouth shut, and I highly suggest that you do, <laughs> then I'll do the same. Well, ordinarily, my dear Olivia, I wouldn't trust your disgusting face for a second. This was your idea. You're right. And you know something? I'm a lot stronger than you. I will beat you to the punch. Do you hear me? If you even think about trying to turn me in. I hope you read me loud and clear. You get out of here right now. Get, get out of here right now. Olivia. I'm you. Fine. Where would you like me to put them, Doctor? I think right here will be just fine. My daughter will be opening her presents right over there. Perfect. Oh, the flowers are beautiful. Like a breath of spring in the dead of winter. And isn't that just what Dawn is bringing to this family? Oh, Lila, what a lovely thought. You're partial to spring, which I'm not. It's the season of rebirth, you see? It's the season of slush, Ashton. The only thing I regret is that Sister Agatha isn't going to be able to be here for the party. I know, Best news I've heard all day. I'm in enough trouble as it is. Well, since Sister Agatha won't be here, you'll be able to stay for Dawn's party. Grin and bear it, as will I. You know, I can't even believe that they're throwing a birthday party for the vet little brat when my picture is front-page news for a trumped-up murder charge. Well, let's face it. It's Monica's daughter, Monica's house. Monica can do what she wants. You know, I'd keep that in mind if I were you, Ashton. Why? How kindly do you think Monica's going to take to your freeloading if I'm in jail? So, what is this, the calm before the storm? What storm, dear? Dawn's party, Mother. Everybody seems so relaxed. Uh, listen, is there anything that I can do to help? I can't imagine what. I mean, is there any little detail that I can take care of for you? I can handle everything. Okay, just as well. I'm running late. Oh, Alan, please wait, dear. I have something I want to say to you. And to Tracy and Larry, too. Yes, Mother? Now, this may not be necessary, but I'm going to say it anyway. Today is Dawn's day. We get the idea, Mother, more or less. I want all of us to go out of our way to make her feel welcome and to be a real part of the family. Is that understood? Yes. You sure? You know, something Lila said earlier today, it really struck a chord in me. You know, we are a family, and as a family, it, it, it behooves us to show some loyalty to each other. Oh, yes. Family over Alice. Family above all. That used to be the quarter main motto. My, how times have changed. True. How very, very true. You know, I think that we have too many secrets from each other. Oh, I couldn't agree more. So, in the interests of family solidarity, I have a small confession to make to you, the upshot of which is that it's not necessary for you to bring Sister Agatha back to Port Charles again. Oh, really? 
I am prepared to admit that Tracy and I went to the convent dressed as a priest and a nun to uh, uncover Dawn's birth certificate. God, it feels good to get it off my chest. But it certainly unmuddies the water for me. Well, now I understand why you and Tracy weren't here when Sister Agatha came to visit. <laughs> well, well, that takes care of that, doesn't it? But more importantly, it proves without a doubt that Tracy did plant that certificate in my dresser drawer to make sure Alan would find it. Yes, she, 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 she certainly did. My God, she's clever. She is very clever. You know, I'd like to make uh, abundantly clear that uh, I was only involved in that one instance. Oh, you mean to tell me uh, she was working alone for the second grand scheme? Uh, uh, come in. How in the world did Tracy get her hands on the dermostatin formula? Oh, I have no idea about that, Marga. Really? I would. I mean, I would tell you. I'd be the first to tell you if I knew anything. Now, you, you do uh, promise to forgive me for the little matter of the birth certificate, don't you? I I'm, forgive you. I'm very grateful. You were just one of Tracy's pawns. But don't ask me to forgive Tracy. I'm not going to do that. She's caused too much pain to my daughter. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, it seems that uh, Tracy may be in for a number of rather sharp pains herself that she didn't bargain for. Mm. Well, with Tracy's recent record of duplicity, I'm beginning to wonder if maybe she was involved with David's murder after all. Ed. I'm here on official business. Yeah, well, I didn't really think that this was a social call. Do the police have permission to speak to Olivia? They do now. It's all right, Colton. Oh, you want to interrogate her or what? I'm here as acting police commissioner. Olivia, you will not be returning to Pine Circle. You are under arrest for escaping a prison facility, Damn. for attempting to shoot a police officer, for kidnapping, and for hijacking a helicopter, which, incidentally, is a federal offense. For God's sake, Anna, she hasn't even recovered yet. She's in no condition for you to be dragging her I'm off I'm not the dragging jail. her anywhere until the doctors deem her competent, and then I will see to it she goes to jail. Now, well, you're really looking forward to this, aren't you? Yes. hoping that maybe she'll admit she had something to do with her father's death. She'll admit she had something to do with the stolen diamonds. She will lead me to a man called Daniel Lund, who I believe killed her father. And I think is poised to take over the mob. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm gonna get. Know who the hell you think you are? That woman is not even off the critical list. You barge in there talking about taking her away to jail. Damn it, Anna. If I were her doctor, I would sue you. I am officially booking her once the doctors say she can leave this hospital, all right? Just like that, huh? You know what the Bible says about the high and the mighty, Anna? It also mentions something about casting pearl before swine, so I'd be very careful. You don't have to warn me about Olivia. I know her. She saved my life. That doesn't make her a saint. Yeah, well, in my book, it buys her a second chance. Colton, okay? she did some terrible things. Oh, people can change. I hope you do. I hope you come to your senses. with me, Colton. Olivia, nothing that Anna says will ever force me to turn my back on you. I won't do it, I promise you. 
I won't drag you down with me. Now you walk away, and you walk as far and as fast as you can away from me. Don't ask me to turn my back on you because I'm not going to do it. You have to. You have to. Listen, yeah. this is an impossible situation. Impossible. You have to accept that. I can't. I know a side of you that nobody else knows. I wouldn't think too much about that if I were you. Olivia, you gave me back my life. You didn't turn your back on me and you didn't walk away. Don't do this because you owe me. I'm doing this because I believe you deserve a chance. The same chance you gave me. The least I can do is help you through this ordeal. This is a different game now, though. Anna needs to win this one. Well, you don't worry about Anna. I promise you. You aren't going to have to suffer anymore. I, I paid a lot of money for it. Well, actually, I found it up in the attic. And I, thought uh, I love it. Thank you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Nice party. Thank you. Maybe if it breaks up early, you and I could go and have a nice quiet drink together. If that's the case, I think the party lasts all night. Lila, it is so nice to see you looking so happy. Well, I am happy, dear. So lovely to see you whole family all pulling together and really enjoying themselves for a change. I know. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Marvelous. What are you smiling at? Oh, life in general, Tracy. You're so oblivious, Ashton. Oblivious? Can't you see how upset your son is over Dawn in this sleazy sidekick? I, I think that uh, Decker's gift was anything but sleazy. As a matter of fact, I think it was most appropriate. Oh, really? Did you find Dawn's gushing over it appropriate? I just hate the way she's being welcomed into the bosom of this family. Anyway, I think, um, I think your father was actually very relieved to confess that he was in on the birth certificate caper. I wonder what made him decide to admit it. I don't know. It wasn't there. Now, I just wish your mother, the mastermind, would confess that she sabotaged the dermostatin formula. She can play her games all she wants. We all know she didn't. Yes, but knowing it and proving it to Alan are two entirely different things. I don't see where you have to prove anything to Alan. Unless, of course, you still love him. Dr. Quarterbay. Oh, yes. The birthday cake is ready. Okay. Excuse me, I have something to attend to. Ah, uh, Tracy. Eat, drink, and be merry for, um... You're such a hypocrite, Alan. You would just love to see me fry. Not at all. I would love to be running ELQ by myself. Now, that's a very appealing idea. Don't forget that my son, my son, is controlling the finances of ELQ. Not for long. Your father must be very proud of you, Scott. Get it away from Oh, uh, <laughs> well, I, I'm trying, and I, I, I'm going to try to make him prouder. Well, since you'll be defending our Tracy in that ridiculous murder charge, um, it gives me great hope to hear you say that. That's great. All right, everyone, let's oh. hear it for the birthday girl, Dawn. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday 